Hey guys, if you guys want to delete any time machine setups that you guys have on your Mac, this is the video for you. So we're, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go on and go into system settings. So that's down here below, or going to the left, you're gonna start to see the Apple logo. And on the top left again, you guys are gonna see system settings, your second option. From there, we're just gonna look for time machine. So just scroll up a little bit. You guys should, should see search. From search, type in time machine. Then we're gonna see this option. And then from here, finally, we can take this out. So we wanna take this one out, just click on the minus sign for get destination, and you're done removing your time machine from there. Now, from your external hard drive itself, you guys would have to format it again, so it deletes this being a time machine partition, if it was a partition, or just go ahead and format it again. So that would mean you guys would need to go into disk utility, which is something pre-installed on your Mac. So right here, disk utility, open it up, and then we're gonna see external. So close all your internals. You guys don't wanna touch your internals. If you guys don't see this, for example, just go here, make sure to show all. You guys will see all this. Here's my externals and here's my time machine. You guys can just erase this and that's how you guys can get rid of it or just erase the whole thing. So in my case, it's the whole thing. I'm gonna erase it. And the way that you guys would want this, well, it's really your choice, but just a quick reminder, this works with Mac, this works with Mac only. This XFAT is to work between Mac and PC. So whatever you guys want. For me, it's all about Mac. So we're gonna leave it as is. We're gonna name this videos, all caps. That's in my case, that's what it's for. And we're gonna erase. Oh, before we erase, just make sure it's a partition map unless you guys really need to be master boot or apple partition map but these you guys have to know why you're doing this why you're selecting this sometimes you have to depending what you guys are doing but for most of you this is it just going to erase and then that's it you guys will get rid of everything within it doing this will delete everything from within your external xsd external hard drive which is what you guys want to do so that's how you guys can get rid of your time machine right here on your Mac. Now, hopefully when you set up your time machine for the first time, it was from an external SSD or an external hard drive because that's the proper way to do it. All right, so we're just gonna click on done and that would be it for this video. We no longer have a time machine portion here. I just call it video and it's ready to go for me to just put anything here. If you guys want to format this again for Time Machine, that's fine. Anyways, that would be it for today's video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.